What is up y'all? Today we are going to be on a mission. So we drove up here to northern Delaware. We're actually at a local trout stream. I appreciate the heck out of you guys for showing so much support. If you guys do enjoy my videos but you are not already, please make sure to go down there. Smash that subscribe button. We got the waders on. We're getting all geared up here and there's one thing that we got to whip out that I have not touched and you guys have not seen in a very very long time boom this dude right here if you've been around the channel for a while and if you guys have seen you know the past trout seasons i've whipped this thing out a couple of, like maybe like a handful of times if i had to guess i'd say i probably fly fish five whole times in my entire life so uh yeah do i know what i'm doing kind of but at the same time absolutely not this is actually the second time this whole trout season that i'm coming up here it, like with all this craziness going on it's just been very interesting if you guys did see the video where i went for the first time this year there was just like so many freaking people man and if there's one thing i'm trying to do right now it's just to not be near any Buddy, so hopefully we can make that happen here but the main objective man the main mission of this video here today i'm gonna be trying my best to catch a fish hopefully there's still some trout left and then with whatever hopefully we catch today we're gonna surprise my girlfriend kelsey with a gourmet dinner that we're gonna chef up chef first state's gonna come out this is gonna be fun man another addition to the series you guys seem to really like these videos it's so fun man i want to see your reaction with this because if i catch a trout man i can cook up some trout gourmet will be an understatement but first we actually have to try to catch the fish by the way if you guys didn't know kelsey is a nurse she's been working very hard with all this craziness going on if you could show her some love in the comments that would be greatly appreciated so let me show you quick i'm sure some of you guys are interested in the flies that i do have again i have not really fly fished much at all but somehow i have a giant box full of fly fishing lures some of these i got from iceland like some of these guys on the right i really like them probably my coolest one is this dude right here oh gosh pretty sure this is some kind of streamer i think it's supposed to imitate a minnow or something the biggest one I have is definitely like the coolest one. Look at all the detail, man. So yeah, as you can see, I, I don't know the names of all these, but there's a lot of tiny guys. I think these up there are drive flies, so it's kind of like top water stuff. I for sure know this one right here is one of the ones from Iceland. If you guys have not seen my Iceland fishing series, dude, if you guys haven't been around or you just didn't know it existed, I'm gonna link that up here. Oh gosh, dude, what the pretty sick little uh, streamer right there. Cool little Icelandic streamer. Then we have a different box. I think this came with my stuff. I think those are woolly buggers and some more little nymphs and stuff i guess yeah i think those came with my fly combo and then right here we got a bunch of interesting uh i don't even know there's like little egg dude tiny little worm things little egg dudes i guess these would be pretty good for like freshly stocked trout it's kind of like power bait looking stuff again i have no clue how to exactly to fish these but we have them so that is a good thing so we're gonna go over here see if we can find a spot where literally nobody's at see if we can find any dude i don't know if they restock this or what uh, hopefully we can find kelsey some food she's not ready for this man all right back into the woods we go i don't know if you guys can see the sign right here this is actually a fly fishing only section in delaware so we're here like for a couple different reasons first of all so you guys can make fun of me man i am you, you'll see i i am something with this fly rod a lot of you guys are always requesting me to break this thing back out so we're gonna be doing that here today i think i'm gonna go no yeah let's go this way secondly i'm thinking if there are still fish around it's going to be in the fly fishing only section because a lot less people have waders a lot less people fly fish and i feel like fly fishermen are more like i wouldn't use the word responsible but you know they, they don't catch their limit every single time and keep them but i have no clue man maybe in these crazy times anybody's just trying to get whatever food they can oh this is looking good actually oh dude this is actually nobody here too okay okay oh yeah no yeah this is where we're gonna be starting off here okay got the spot nobody around us first of all i kind of tied on this little dude right here i know you guys are probably like it is impossible to see these tiny flies with the gopro but that is i think it's a little nymph pretty sure that's what that's called so this kind of fly fishing that we're going to be doing is a uh, float fly fishing i'm pretty sure it's called at this exact spot probably a year was it was it two years ago I just got here. I just talked to some nice people. They told me about another spot. I should try maybe sometime. So this is what we are going to be doing here. I have this pack of 24 pinch on floats. I don't know where I was in the story, but I came here like maybe a year or two years ago and I, I just could not catch any freaking fish. People were fly fishing around me. They were catching a lot of different things. Eventually I came to this spot and I met an old dude named Tom. I'll put the link to the video up here. But Tom was like one of the nicest people ever. He taught me this method. He says it's kind of like not a naturalist way of fly fishing. We're going to go a little bit up from our fly. Probably like right there. It doesn't look very deep here. We're going to pinch this dude on just like that. That's going to make it float. So we got the fly. We got the float. I also have this little bag of tiny, tiny split shot weights. We're going to throw one of these on just to make sure our fly gets like kind of more in the strike zone. And it makes it a little bit easier to cast. I don't know if this makes it easy. These are like real small. I mean, I could use all the help. I can get so we're gonna put that dude kind of like right oh boy right there all right so we have our little strike indicator slash flotation 
device we have a tiny little split shot and we have tiny little uh nymph sort of lore i don't even know if you guys can see any of that oh man it has been a while so if i remember correctly i gotta get this yellow line out this is actually what we cast not the lore we gotta make sure got enough of that out all right get that out there a little bit oh my god freaking tree <laughs> no it's fine we're getting out now could have been worse Right in that stream there. All right. First official cast. We're just gonna watch this dude float down there. Yeah, no, nothing on that. If we get a bite, our indicator just disappears. It's like float fishing, bobber fishing with a worm. A lot more intense. Catch a fish, man. Any luck? No, I don't mind. You have any luck? Oh, yeah? No. No. Oh, oh, wow. There you go. Okay. It's more of a snap the wrist back and snap the wrist forward. Watch, watch my wrist. It's kind of back and forward. Oh, more of the wrist. Okay. Perfect. Yeah, slower. Perfect. Slower? Okay. Yeah, it did go a lot further. Wow, yeah. That makes a difference. And I got tangled. <laughs> Yeah, I'm really good at doing that. We're about to go all the way up as far as we can and try to find the fish. I was talking to that first guy. Apparently you could see the fish up here, but there's just like some hardcore dudes and I don't know, I guess there's a bunch of people up there or something. Shout out to that guy, by the way. He was telling me so many freaking tips. Yo, people are so nice out here. All right, y'all, it is the next day. The mission continues. We are gonna find some food, preferably trout. No, definitely trout. We're gonna catch a trout for Kelsey to eat. The wind is whipping here today. It just like downpoured and now it's like right out. And then I think I see some clouds over that way. I don't know what's going on, man. <sighs> Yesterday with the fly fishing, people around me were catching them as always, but I just, dude, I don't know what was, I don't know. If you guys have any suggestions for what I was doing wrong or what I could do better or what I should be throwing. The important thing is that there are fish there. Apparently they are stocking, but it's just like staggered. So it's not a lot of people in one spot, I guess. If we get 3,012 thumbs up on this video, I'll go back. It's just frustrating, man. I was out there literally when I said the whole day, I was out there the entire whole day. So today, as I said, we're going to be going for trout again, but I'm going to be whipping out this dude right here, the long lost spinning rod. I got a lot more confidence in this, all right? And we're at a spot today that I have actually never fished Ever. Not really sure if there's fish here. I'm pretty sure they stocked, but I don't think they restocked here So if there are fish that would be really cool to catch them because this is like a completely different creek I've never caught anything out of this let alone a trout So first trout out of here would be so sick getting food for our secret mission would also be sick I think I got some stuff up my sleeve. I don't know. I'm gonna break some stuff out We're gonna walk around here because if there are trout here, I really don't know where they would be I don't know man. Let's get out here to the water. Let's get some redemption. Let's try to catch some fish All right looks like the rain has subsided. Oh wow, that is really deep right there. Super clear too. I don't know. Let me let me just chill here for a second. Let me see if I see any fish. Hmm. See, I've never fished this creek before. We're just gonna have to experiment, I think. Would you look at that? The sun is out. It was just like heavily. You wouldn't even be able to tell, man. It was heavily, heavily raining. The sun is shimmering off the water. All right. This looks like a cool little area right here. Nice little eddy. So pretty much I'm going to start out here throwing a little spinner. We're just going to, uh, I, don't, I don't know. It's going to be a very experimenting, experimentation.
found the freaking fish, dude. They're under this bridge. There are trout under the bridge. I'm gonna fell on my butt and get down here. Come on, take a spinner. Oh my god, one. Dude, no, no. Oh my god. This is not the spinner I would want to use. He just freaking hit it though. Come on, they're chasing it. Oh, dude, get out of here. Oh boy. We're gonna catch some fish here, man. I know that there are some trout down here. I had two bites. One hit my spinner. Another one hit like a little swim bait I was throwing. So we're gonna do something that I did not want to do, but I think it has to be done. Ye old power bait garlic scent. The OG of the OG. Get a little bit of that on here. Not usually like a power bait guy when it comes to trout, but right now anything is so I, I just want to catch a fish, dude. Got a tiny little size 12 hook on right here. All about the garlic baits recently. If you guys saw last video using garlic worms, this time garlic power bait. Gonna toss that out there. Let that sit. We'll see if it drifts or not. I don't know how strong this little uh, split shot I have on is related to this current. It actually looks pretty good. All right. Now we wait. Power bait is, is one of the easiest ways to fish for trout. The dough floats, so you make a little dough ball, put it on a very small hook. They cannot see the hook. That is very key. If they see the hook, they know not to bite that. I don't know how. I don't know why, because these are farm-fed fish, but they freaking know, dude. These fish are smart. As I said, the dough floats up, so the distance between the dough and your split shot is where, you know, it's going to be floating in the water column. Depending on where you're fishing and, you know, how strong the current is and stuff, that's kind of trial and error these fish were raised in a farm so they were fed little pellets and stuff so that's why they go after this kind of power bait looks like the food that they were given at the hatcheries and they just go crazy for this stuff man i really like this garlic scent one there's so many different types of power bait if you guys i mean i have a lot of videos i'm pretty sure about power bait on my channel if you guys want to check them out i don't know man so this is kind of power bait fishing you just kind of bait and wait a lot of people put their rods down this is why i don't really do it too much as opposed to like spinners or trout magnets or you know a lot of different types of trout fishing when i'm fishing i'm kind of like i'm a go-getter you know what i mean i want to be casting 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 retrieving but when the fishing gets tough man i'm just hoping i swear i'm getting bit right here please just take it man There's a fish. That is a freaking rainbow trout. I think that's a rainbow, right? Oh my gosh, please come up here. You guys are not gonna freaking believe what I just caught this guy on. Oh, chill, 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 chill. Oh my God, please, 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 please. Oh my gosh. Oh my freaking gosh. Oh my gosh. Holy crap. Ah, I am victorious. Oh my gosh, look, it's about to freaking start storming too again. Oh my gosh right on the bottom oh all right so we're a little bit muddy here please tell me i am recording look at this man this is a secret concoction that i use only in dire times of need this guy kept going he went after like three times would put it in his mouth and wasn't actually oh that was freaking nuts so this is a trout magnet you like i have you have no freaking clue how happy i am right now man i have spent all day today all day yesterday just trying to catch one fish all right so this is a trout magnet this is the back of a power bait mice tail oh my gosh this is a beauty too. We're actually gonna dispatch him, but just, oh my gosh. Look at how pretty that freaking 
Dude, that is one of the most pretty rainbow trout I think I've caught in a long time. Holy crap. I was hoping that Kelsey likes this. Dude, so freaking pretty. I'm gonna pop some pictures up on this screen right now. Now, the thing you guys don't understand, man, I could have probably went to somewhere else and had a better shot at catching a fish, like maybe, possibly. But as you guys saw yesterday, and I mean, if you guys know me, man, I am like, like if I wanna do something, I'm gonna freaking do it, man. I just had to catch a fish in this spot. I've never been here before. I'm starting to realize that sometimes when it comes to fishing, I am very hard-headed. Like, I just wanted to catch a fish so bad out of this spot. As I said earlier in the video, I mean, this is my first time ever exploring this place. And once I saw those fish, man, it's like, how can I not do everything in my power to try to catch them? So that, like, that, that feels really good, man. We only managed to, like, actually catch one, but I had three bites. One on the spinner, one on a little minnow jig type thing, and then one on that secret weapon. Definitely in the comments below, let me know if you guys want to see more trout fishing this season and also man if you wanted me to whip that freaking fly rod back out just just go like this video that is uh just beautiful right there dude yesterday as well i got really muddy but you guys didn't even see man jeez dude i uh, apparently have a hole in two different spots one in each leg of my waders and also i thought maybe i needed to get a little deeper when i was fly fishing so i had one split shot left and as i was trying to put it on i freaking dropped it into the water so i tried to like grab it with my hand the entire left side of my body i'm talking about everything including my bag everything got soaked when the sun went down it got windy it got really chilly and i was actually like i could not feel my foot as i was walking back i was kind of scared but all right we got the food today we went grocery shopping here at the creek let's get back home man we got a long drive i've been driving a lot recently let's throw the chef's hat on let's get down to business there is our beautiful Little rainbow chops. Pretty much all I do is chop the head off, go up here, rip all the guts out. All right, and this is what we are left with. Beautiful, clean rainbow trout. I'm gonna put this in the fridge, actually. I just got some paper towels over it. Not exactly ready to cook this just yet. Welcome back officially to Chef First Dates kitchen we got the oven going here at a nice 400 degrees one thing i kind of forgot about with all of this craziness going on i don't really have that much stuff like around like i don't really have that many groceries we've been ordering groceries online i've been like taking this stuff super seriously so i really haven't got time for this video to get like ingredients and stuff so i guess we're just gonna kind of have to work with what we got here is kind of what's going on so it is now yet again the next day kelsey is a nurse as i said so she works night shift so she got home today at like 7 or 8 a.m and went to sleep so when she wakes up this is what like hopefully I'm gonna surprise her with this rainbow trout. By the way, peep this real quick. Kelsey's parents actually got me this for Christmas, dude. Look at that little, nice little rainbow trout right there. Don't pay attention to that. We did not catch any on a fly. Don't remind me about that. We've got the beautiful cleaned rainbow trout right there we've got some tin foil we're just gonna kind of play it sort of simple ish i got a few special ingredients but just because it is not in depth super cooking you know doesn't mean that this is not going to be delicious so what we're gonna do put this dude right on there you can never go wrong and you can never put too much butter a little salt we're gonna put some of that in the middle too it's just kind of hard to put seasonings on when you're holding camera at the same time but we got some pepper on there as well a little gourmet fish seasoning as i said too I, i'm really gonna put this really nice and well inside of the fish on both sides of the fish it's just really hard to do this with one hand man. garlic powder and of course one more powdery ingredient for the ogs out there a little bit of slap your mama around right there just a little kick to it, a little cajun spice My personal favorite addition to a lot of dishes, but especially fish dishes, we're gonna squeeze some good old lemon juice all up on that sucker right there. And we also have, once I season the rest of it, we got some of these little dudes just to make it look, you know, nice gourmet. How could it not be good, man? Chef First State. Looks like his game is on point today. Folded up, ready to go. This oven has already been preheated. Ooh, put this guy in there for probably like 10, uh, maybe 10, 15 minutes. See what happens. Now, if you guys didn't know this, trout fishing is actually one of the main like types of fishing that got me into the sport of fishing. It was trout season years ago. I used to get out of college. I used to, you know, spend hours and hours out there and it really, like it's just something about trout fishing, man. Once like all this health stuff is over, I wanna get out and trout fish in a lot more different states. So let me know if you guys live in a good area, if you guys have some good trout fishing 
near you. I just, I want to go explore, man, up in the mountains, some clear creeks. By the way, while this is cooking as well, definitely let me know down in the comments. I'm actually really curious. What is your favorite way to cook trout? Is it a tin foil method? Is it grilling it? What kind of stuff do you put on it? If you guys haven't actually seen, I made a video a while ago where I actually crusted a rainbow trout in hot Cheetos dust. Literally one of Chef First State's peak performances. If you guys have not checked that video out, man, I would definitely recommend it. And also, if you've never tried that, with any kind of chips. I did it with a couple of different chips, but I think the freaking hot Cheetos, like I think that was the best one I ever did, man. That was insane. The color on the fish, just like the taste of it. Like when I say gourmet, man, that was freaking next level stuff, dude. Gordon Ramsay got nothing on this. So let's just wait here a little bit. All right, this is ready to be taken out. Should be ready at least. Ooh, sizzling in there. Come here, boy. You guys hear that? So the original, like, oh gosh, the original idea I had for this was like when she came home from work, I was gonna, you know what I mean? But as I said, this is the third day. She's actually in there right now. I am almost ready. Hold on, I actually gotta go get some. I was just thinking about this. I almost forgot, man. I am officially a chef. Look at this thing right here, dude. My parents actually got me this for Christmas. I really haven't filmed that many kitchen cooks and I kind of low key forgot I had it. I gotta start wearing this thing, man. Dude, it's freaking sick. They told me I couldn't do it. That I didn't know what I was doing in the kitchen. Well, look at what we got going on here now, man. That is a masterpiece. Look at the lemon. Look at the seasoning. Look at the butter dripping out. Look at the presentation. I mean, we got like a kind of like a swan turtley thing going on here. This tin foil. So before we actually serve this to the customer. Oh. Can you guys see that, man? That's just falling apart. A little piece right there. Fresh caught. Rainbow trout. Someone give me an award, dude. Kind of messed with our presentation there just a little bit. We're gonna... You can't even tell. Excuse me, miss. Yes, right. <laughs> what the heck is that? <laughs> this is uh, your one course meal here today. So I'm not sure if you're aware of this or not, but these ingredients were a bit uh, difficult to come by. So as you can see right here, uh, if you want to peel that back, look at the, see mm, like the- it smells good. Yeah, it actually does smell good. See like the beautiful foil uh, presentation there? Yeah. That's, yeah, it's Ten just my, my own touch right there. Get rid of this piece of foil. There okay. you go, man. Thank you. We have a fresh caught rainbow trout, as you can see. Mm -hmm. We've got uh, some lemon infused um, uh, garlic. Yeah, there you go. So you just kind of peel the skin. Look how like, see, not all chefs make it so the skin like peels like that. Look at that. Oh my God, look, what did you do? Look Whoa. at that. Oh yeah, there are bones in it, so just. I'm scared. First bite. Mm. Uh, is, that, is that a real reaction? Do you actually like it? Mm -hmm. Dude, look at this. That, yo, from this angle. It's actually quite good. You think look so? Look at all the bones that just came out. Yeah, there, yeah. But see how the meat kind of just falls right off the bones too? That is how you know the chef knows what he's doing. So the customer just took a bite and had like six bones she put out of her mouth. But that is not the chef. That is not the chef's fault. Stop! You're not pulling. Whoa, oh my God! That is actually. Okay. Are that, you trying um, to kill your customer? Um, it's very good. I would give it a ten out of ten. It was if there very wasn't, good though. No, but think if there wasn't bones. Like, if there wasn't any bones, I would like it much more. Chef, first day next time. Remember that in your noggin. No bones. Um, we'll perfect this recipe for you. This is definitely better than the clams, right? Yeah. She, she said she, did, she didn't mind them or something last time, but those clams, that was like not very good. I'll have to go back and try to re-dig those and re-cook those. I made clam chowder. Oh my gosh, should I, make, should I make some clam chowder? Last time I made crab bisque and that was bomb. Maybe we'll do some chowder. Chowder. <laughs> chowder, chowder, clowder. All right, man, that is pretty much gonna do it here for this video today. Surprising my girlfriend uh, with some trout that I took forever to freaking catch. Dude, I literally, I don't know if you know this, I spent two whole days trying to catch a trout because I'm really good at fly fishing and just fishing. If you guys have any suggestions for future videos, definitely let me know in the comments below. And if you did enjoy this video, please make sure to go down there and smash the thumbs up button. It really would mean a lot to me and it does help out the channel. All I gotta say, man, is thank you guys so much for all the support. Let's keep this rolling, man. Thank you guys for watching. See you next video. You wanna know just where